So, I woke up this morning, touched the radiator, and the radiators are stone cold, and we've got no hot water. So I thought, hmm, <coughs> what's wrong with that then? Well, uh, obviously the boiler isn't heating the um, water at all. So uh, we're going to take a look, see if we can fix it. But if it's something you can fix yourself, uh, let's have a go, that's what I say. Right, let's go to the airing cupboard where our boiler is. And there it is, it's a Glowworm Ultimate. We've got a couple of um, shelves in the way, so we're going to have to take them out so I can actually get in there. If I turn the main power to the boiler on, okay. Now, if we look through that little tiny hole there, that little eye hole, I can't can't quite get it in the focus but through there we should see some ignition sparking going on and um, it should fire up but it won't so it could either be the ignition cycle board or it could be the relay board or the most common failure on these boilers when they get a bit older is the fan which is at the top of the boiler um, if I remember rightly this fan um, gets fresh oxygen into the combustion chamber and um, if that fan doesn't turn then the whole system won't start up so since that's a common failure you know on these older boilers um, we're going to take a look at that and um, see if it is so I'm going to take these shelves out and then um, I'll be right back Okay, so here we are back at the boiler. Now, um, <coughs> if you uh, aren't confident in doing this, then um, don't attempt it. Only attempt this if you're 100% confident you know what you're doing. I mean, um, I've got experience in these sort of things, oxygen fans and so on. I don't know everything about boilers there is to know, um, but I know a little bit. So if you've got a boiler with the same fault, just follow what I'm going to do and... Um, it's uh, more of a a make do than a fix um, this is to just get it going and then um, get someone in to actually uh, fit a new one or repair it okay right so the first thing to do is to take the bottom tray off which is this kitty here so firm grip just pull and then it slides out like so And there's a little diagram here. I'll just bring the camera up a little bit. So I'm on my own trying to uh, hold the camera and do this at the same time. There's a schematic di wiring diagram with the boiler. And at the top here, there is the fan. And that's the kitty I'm going to aim for because uh, that is quite a common failure on older boilers. Right, so we do know that that's at the top of the boiler. So we're going to take this large cover off next and um, go up to the top and have a look. So I'll be right back when I've got the big cover off. You've got to undo that little nut there and that little nut there. Okay, it's a butterfly nut because I think the um, original nut was lost during its um, service history. So we're going to undo those two next. Obviously make sure the boiler's turned off while you're uh, taking this cover off and tinkering around. Okay. Voila. 
That wasn't too bad, was it? Okay. There's the fan. Hmm. Okay. Let's switch the boiler on. Let's see if that kitty starts up. Um, red on the main switch. And no. Okay, well that's an induction motor, um, which basically means it's not driven by bushes, or brushes, sorry. And I think what's happened is that these bearings on here are phosphor bronze, I believe. I don't think they're actual bearing bearings. And I think what's happened, it's just got stiff over the years, so I'm gonna grab some uh, special lube some three in one oil in a spray can. I'm going to see if I can get under the um, armature there and uh, get some oil onto those bearings before I attempt to start that fan up. So, um, <clears throat> there we go. I think some of that stuff will do. I just want to hit the top and bottom bearing um, just to see if uh, you know that will help it on its way and um, you know tie us over until we get a replacement. So what I need to do is get a pair of steps I think to get up there and have a closer look at that. So I'll be right back when I've got some steps. Right, we're in the boiler, and uh, I couldn't find our steps. Uh, somebody's borrowed them and hasn't put them back, but there you go. So, there's the um, fan motor, and that red and white pipe you can see, that's the uh, that goes down to the airflow sensor, so if this fan ain't turning, there's no gas going to be entered into the combustion chamber. Um, twin flue, centre pipe, uh, brings fresh oxygen down from the outside world into the combustion chamber. And like I said before, if this ain't turning, you ain't gonna get no boiler. So I've got a can of um, three in one oil there. So I'm gonna aim for the top bearing up there and the bottom bearing down there. Obviously can't do that and hold the camera at the same time. So I'll be right back when I've done that. Hey guys, we're back. <coughs> right, okay, I'll put some um, three in one spray on top and bottom uh, motor bearing here. And if I can just get into the fan, there it is. Now, um, when I first tried to turn the fan, it was really stiff. Um, obviously, the bearings are well dry, and it just didn't want to turn at all. Um, so, after giving it some oil, I'll get my finger in there. Hey, check this out. How about that? That's cool. I think I might have fixed it. But say, so, so guys, um, you know, if we do this, make sure we isolate your boiler first. <laughs> right, anyway, it's enough of me being all excited and uh, chuffed at the fans nice and free. I'm going to hit the switch and then we're going to see if this puppy will start up. So I'm going to try and hold the camera and reach down and blip the switch. There we go. And... Three. It's actually running. Sounds a little bit on the dry side. There she goes. And we have ignition. Excellent. Right. That's it. 
fixed. Well, apart from dropping my torch. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, that's cool. Yeah, there's some nice blue flame in there, so it's been delivered the right amount of oxygen. And just there you can see the um, two pipes coming down from the motor cowling into this unit here, um, which has got an O2 sensor in it. Um, like I said before, if that fan doesn't run, the boiler won't start. Right, let's get this uh, boiler back together. Butterfly nuts are always the worst to try and do up. There we go. And it runs much quieter, obviously, with the cover on. the bottom bit the enclosure for this. And that's my grandson you can hear down there, Stanley, he's only three and he does have a squinny and I'm a poet and I don't know. Right well there's a tab here and there's a tab here like a cutaway and there's a little groove there each side of the boiler and obviously this tray goes in there into that groove both sides so Got to get that one on. Get that one on. Then the trick is with some of these is um, just lift it up slightly. And then go in like that. There we go. All done.